smelliest tennis shoes. Let's take a whiff. <laughs> How do they smell? Okay. A lot of you guys will likely have gym class and will need to change into different shoes. If that is the case, we have a life hack to prevent your shoes from smelling up your locker or your backpack. All you need for this life hack are two tea bags. This flavor is cinnamon rose. So Owen, we're gonna make your shoes smell like cinnamon roses. Smell this. It actually smells really good. Hey, it smells good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place these tea bags just in his shoes and have these sit here for a little bit and we'll come back and smell them later on in the video. So stay tuned. These smell really good. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Did something just happen? On to life hack number two. You don't keep them up or anything? I mean, no Life hack number two involves eating a sandwich. I don't know about you guys, but I always felt so rushed eating at school. Do you feel that way? Yeah. You get like 10 minutes, it feels like, and you're scarfing down food. So apparently, in order to eat a sandwich quicker, all you need to do is roll it up and eat it. So I'm gonna eat a regular sandwich, and Colin is gonna eat the rolled up sandwich, and we'll see who would eat it faster. It's a piece oh, of bread, it's not a sandwich. It actually has um, peanut butter and jelly on it. Oh, Don't I'm hate on my sandwich. This down. She's gonna scarf this down. Do you want what? me to do it or do you yeah, want to do, do it? Okay. It so you just like kind of roll it and it might fall apart a little bit. Can you eat that one? I want to eat the normal one. <laughs> you I, said you want to No, I <laughs> eat it. Bro, I'm not gonna be able to eat this one. <laughs> this doesn't Three. look like it did in the video Two. I watched. All right. One, go. Yo, this is not a life hack. This just looks so unappetizing. <laughs> Call you just like eat around the edges. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. This is not fun to eat. Like I'd way rather eat that. I really like a good peanut butter and jelly, but this is just so unappetizing. I'm gonna give this life hack a zero no, out of ten. I'm not, we're still racing. Though. I'm not, I'm not racing. racing anymore. I'm done. You can finish yours, but zero out of ten. Owen's oh, shoes have been marinating <laughs> with the tea bags, so we're gonna take them out and smell them. I drink tea. Let's smell it. Here, like my actual nice for school. The life hack is you have two notebooks right here. Which one is for what subject? So you will be marking the top of it with a certain color to distinguish like what notebook it is for. What yeah, topic. just like when you look straight into the back. Yeah. Look how gorgeous though, like those notes. Wow. Loki is studying. How physics? So orange is physics, and so when Isla looks into the backpack, she can see it without having to pull all her notebooks out. You can see easily that like, which oh, one is which. I need my physics. Let me pull out my red notebook. What would you rate the life hack? Um, I'd give it for me personally like a 7 out of 10, 6 out of 10, because I'm kind of like a tri trial and error person. Like if you get the wrong notebook, oh well. Just put it back put in. Notes, put it back in, find another one. But like if you have it, like a notebook for every single subject, 10 out of 10. Then it would make sense. This next life hack, we are going to be creating our own stickers only using paper, tape, a sharpie, and parchment paper, and a scissors. What you want to do is first create your design. I'm just going to draw a mini smiley face on my piece of paper, and then you want to cut it out as precisely as you possibly can. Once you have that cut out, you're going to take your parchment paper or your wax paper, and you're going to place some tape over it. Then you're going to place your sticker on top of that tape, and then put another layer of tape on top of the sticker. Next, we want to cut around the sticker, but we want to leave a little bit of room outside of the sticker because you'll want to have to peel it off after. Now we have our mini sticker and then to use it all you need to do is peel off that little piece of wax paper. Okay the difficulty in peeling this off definitely brings the life hack down. So now I am peeling off the wax paper and sticking the sticker on a piece of paper. That actually worked! That was pretty cool! What would you rate it on 10? A 10. I'm gonna use that. You would use it? Awesome! On to the next one! Hey guys! It's your favorite girl here back! Whoa! Whoa! So I'm taking over Maggie's channel now. No, no, no. But this life hack, it hits close to home because you know me. I was in chemistry and physics already, so I'm basically a scientist at this point. This life hack is for if you're doing a lab and don't have a hair tie. I feel that, you know? That's happened to me before. And you're like, oh shoot, to ask me for one, it's really awkward, so you don't do that. You need one glove, you know, which you 
usually come in I'm a lot sure of science rooms. You're gonna have a glove in every room. You know this little edge piece around the top of it? You're gonna cut it off and use it as a hair tie. Genius! Yeah. Hannah's gonna help get Izzel's hair all ready. Maybe Hannah can also use a point. <laughs> Hannah, you need to brush your hair, girl. Wow! Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! That is amazing! Wow! That is amazing! And then you can still use the glove. It's strong, too. Yeah, like it won't break in your hair. Like, it's not breaking now. The next life hack I'm pretty skeptical about. I saw it online and I laughed out loud because I don't know if you have actually tried this, but if you have, comment below. There's no way you laughed out loud. <laughs> What you need are these black binder clips. You're gonna clip it on your desk, and this is supposed to relieve your desk from having a lot of things on it. So, like a notebook, for example, you put like a rubber band, or like I'm using a ponytail holder, onto the notebook, and then you just like hang it on here. That's just so extra. I'd rather put it on the floor. Yeah, or like in a backpack. I've never, I've never seen anyone do this before, and I think if I did, I would be like really confused, and this would probably get a lot of comments. So I'm gonna give this one 4 out of 10 because it's effective. Like, it does take away, like, desk space. It's it wild. looks kind of funny. Have you ever had to staple your paper but you're too scared to go up to the teacher's desk to staple it because you have to walk past through your crushes? We're gonna do a non-staple staple. You will be folding your paper but not folding it completely, just, like, folding it. Okay. <laughs> Over like so. Then you have this little like paper airplane type configuration and you're gonna take scissors. Hopefully you have scissors. If you have a stapler, you probably have scissors. You're not cutting the tip off, but you're making an indent. You're making a little cut, but not all the way through. Now you open it up, you have a little like V shape. Then you fold this top piece through the hole. Yo, what is this? <laughs> Did, Did it, it work? work? Oh, low key? Low key? It worked! Oh, but low key for a second it like, worked. Like if you don't pull super hard, it kind of works. My packets, I'm whipping through them. Yeah. Like, if I'm trying to find page 10, like, I'm gonna find page 10 by being like. So, maybe get a stapler. So, what would we get this? Just walk past your crush, okay? <laughs> Alright, next life hack. We're gonna make a pencil case using just this. I don't think this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it if it does. 10 out of 10. So, what you wanna do is you're just gonna fold the inner corners. Fold the inner corners in like that. And then we're gonna drop our pencils through it. And then we're gonna fold the other edge in the same way we did. And here is our pencil case. So if you wanna take it out, you just kind of unfold, pour, and then when you don't want it, fold it in. Let's see the drop test, guys. No way did this actually work. Oh, they're poking through. Honestly, not bad. Like, I definitely would prefer a pencil case with a zipper over uh, this, and like, you can't really like search through your pencil what case. It's a plastic bag. <laughs> I want to see Maggie walking in the hallways with that in her hand. For this life hack, you need a apple and a knife. I think an apple is the most common food seen in lunches ever. I don't know about you guys, but I hate having brown apples. Like, it just grosses me out the color. Even though it doesn't really change the taste, I just can't do brown apples. So this hack is gonna fix your life on that. Well, I don't like well, apples, hopefully. but you know, it'll fix your life. Okay, okay. <laughs> you're gonna take your apple, put it on the plate, and then your knife, and you're gonna cut it into four. Right down the core. You can see it, it's in there. Then you're gonna cut these pieces again. You're gonna put the apple back together, basically. Wait, it's looking pretty solid. Now, you're gonna take a hair tie, hopefully not from out of your hair. Or a rubber base. <laughs> And you're just gonna like like a planet. Like this yeah. is the ring. Okay, planet. okay. Saturn. And then this is your apple. We're gonna wait to see what it looks like and see if it's brown. It is a couple hours later. We are gonna check on our apple and see. Oh no! It's brown, Hannah! It didn't work! Does it taste good? Ew. Okay, at least it tastes good. We are on to the final life hack where we are gonna be creating our own backpack. All you need is a tank top. And a ponytail holder, all right? So, Owen, I'm gonna have you hold the tank top up here. Just hold it. <laughs> we're going to tie the end of this with a ponytail holder as tight as you can. Otherwise, all your materials will fall out. So now hold this open, and we're gonna just put some supplies in here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's a notebook. This is a jam-packed folder. Is all well. you need to clean out your folders. Wait, right, that was my clean one. Oh, and this Excited. is now our backpack. <laughs> Put your arms through your Why? Should I wear that to school next year? <laughs> no! What? That is the best thing I've ever seen. If this video gets 30,000 likes, I'll wear this to a day of class. Oh! <laughs> Look at this backpack! Oh my 